This episode brought to you by Smart Tailor by Daniel Collections. Sawadee Cup, welcome to Tiger TV. Today we're trying to give you some details on what's happening with the Phuket boat shows. Now in the past there's been a uh, Pimex, there's been the Thailand Yacht Show, last year there was the Phuket Rendezvous. I'm going to try and explain it all to you, but first a little bit of history. In an effort to try and explain the situation, I uh, don't have sock puppets or a PowerPoint presentation, but I do have these cups and these old uh, boat awards, so I'll try and use these. Now there are four key marinas on the island which could stage a boat show. We've got the Royal Phuket Marina in Gok Yao, we've got the Aupor Grand Marina up at Aupor, we've got Yacht Haven which is right up at the very north of the island near the Saracen Bridge, and we've got uh, Boat Lagoon. Now Boat Lagoon have already said they don't want to stage a boat show, they've also said they're not really capable of handling the uh, the spaces so they're out of the picture yacht haven have also said that they're really just too far away from the center of the island and they probably don't have the facilities to put on an, a world-class international boat show so they're out of the picture which means we've got our poor grand marina and we've got rpm now last year uh, the Thailand Yacht Show was at the Aupor Grand Marina and it was put on by a company called Verventia who also put on the Singapore Yacht Show. At two years that's been running. Now last year RPM hosted a new show called the uh, Phuket Yacht Rendezvous and that was put on by the Burlo brothers who also put on a Singapore rendezvous and that was a revitalized version of the old Pemex. So that was the situation, well earlier this year but it was I suppose last year's uh, boat show season. Now this year the Burlo brothers have said they wanted to get together with Verventia to put on just one show. It could be at the Alpore Grand Marina or it could be at RPM in Kok Yao. And this was the situation that the two of those organizations are going to get together as requested by the boating industry and also by the Royal Thai government who fund the, uh, the Royal the Thailand Yacht Show and it was going to be at RPM. But the negotiations broke down and the owner of RPM has got together with the organizer of the old Pimex shows at the Royal Phuket Marina brought him in and they've said they're going to stage their own show called the Phuket Yacht Show. It's left the combined Verventia and Burlo Brothers uh, show without a, a venue unless they go back to our poor Grand Marina. In recent months the Aupor Grand Marina has had their own problems where they've had to remove a whole finger of the marina because it wasn't allowed in the original permit. So if there is going to be a combined Thailand Yacht Show and uh, Phuket Rendezvous, it's going to have to be at the Aupor Grand Marina somehow. In the meantime, the Phuket Yacht Show are now married to the Royal Phuket Marina for their show which is going to be on a week before. So that's a bit of an explanation about the history of Phuket boat shows. We asked Andy Dowden, who's the event director for the new Phuket Yacht Show, why they've stepped in to put on a show next year. Um, I, we don't necessarily need another show, but as you are well aware, there's been a uh, hodgepodge of two shows a year for the last three. Um, we're, uh, well, personally, I've been involved in boat shows on Phuket for 15 years. Uh, ten of them here yes, in Royal Phuket with Marina, Pimex. and for the last three years we've had another show trying to come onto the island. Um, so uh, our position is this, that we've always believed that RPM is the best location for a show because of its layout and all the facilities that it has here, the hall and um, boardwalk overlooking the water. Yes. Um, and that uh, this is the best location for a single boat show on the island. The Tiger's gone out since the Phuket Yacht Show was announced and spoken to some of the industry leaders. Some of them had the opinion that the new Phuket Yacht Show was a spoiler. We put that to Andy Dowden. Well, first of all, the other show has not been scheduled. Uh, it was mentioned back in May that um, 
Rendezvous and uh, Thailand Yacht Show were getting together to do something in January. Yes. Um, venue to be announced. Yes. Dates, I think they did give. They said 4th to the 7th, um, which of course is, again, our favoured time of the year because of the high HMW on whatever those high net Everybody's here. Individuals. Sure. Um, so uh, we always figured that that was the time to do a show. And um, I can I hardly see that we, who've been involved for the last 15 years, can be the spoiler. Um, I would rather put that label on the other show. So that's some of the thoughts from the organisers of the Phuket Yacht Show. We've also had a statement from Andy Treadwell, who's one of the people behind the Thailand Yacht Show Rendezvous. The jointly produced Thailand Yacht Show and Rendezvous will go ahead as planned in Phuket in January 2019, as agreed with most of you, who also asked us to change from the 4th to the 7th to the 10th to the 13th. We do not believe any of you will want to support a third new show in Phuket. It's obviously disappointing that the owner of RPM has now, at the very last minute, turned down the opportunity to unite the industry and stop the nonsense of having too many boat shows in Thailand thoughts there from Andy Treadwell. Now it does take a lot of money to put together any of these shows and the Thailand Yacht Show Rendezvous has the support of the Royal Thai Government. It also involves support from the industry and support from people like Paul Poole, the sponsorship specialists who are involved with supporting the Thailand Yacht Show. A very disappointing situation we thought, or at least hoped, a way forward had been found with just one professionally organised show for Phuket backed by the Royal Thai government and industry leaders. Well, the Thailand Yacht Show Rendezvous are now in a situation where they're going to have to announce the location and the dates fairly quickly. At the same time, the entire boating industry are being torn between the two shows again, a situation everybody has tried to avoid. I'm sure there's a lot more of the story to come out in the next couple of weeks, and the Tiger will do our best to try and keep you up to date. Thanks for joining us.